Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back with a, another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn a, a spider spawner into a string farm. So it won't be an XP farm, it'll literally just be a automatic string farm for you. So let's get into today's video guys. Okay, so first of all, you will need some items. Most importantly being a building block, you will need a powered rail, a couple of powered rails, some normal rails, redstone blocks or redstone torches, whatever you prefer to use, a hopper minecart and also a hopper. You will also need about two uh, water buckets that are full of water so you can use them to create infinite water sources and then a chest to help sort out all the items that you'll be getting from the farm. Now just for the tutorial today I did actually create a fake spawner. There is actually a spider spawner inside here but I didn't go and locate one in the real world. Once you do locate one in the real world, in your Minecraft world, you will need to make sure every cave for about 50 to 120 blocks around that spider spawner is lit up completely. Because if you don't light it up correctly, that means those places, the dark places within your world will be counted as spawnable areas. So when another mob spawns elsewhere, it will actually take up a position that this spawner could have used to spawn a couple of spiders. So make sure you do some caving, go on a few couple hour caving sessions and just light up as much as you can. And then come back to your spawner, make sure you've lit that up as well, just in, in the time being of you actually. When you do go to your spider spawner, it won't look like this, but I'm gonna give you some sort of measurements to make it look like this. So above the spider spawner, you need to have two blocks placed. That means the third block will be the roof, so one, two, Two. and then below the spider spawner you need to dig out the same two blocks so the third block will be the floor once you've done that in each direction you need to go ahead and dig out four blocks so that's four here four here four here and then four over here that means in each direction the spawner will be nine by nine once you have it all dug out you can go ahead and grab your bucket of water and choose a direction you would like your spider spawner to to travel in so i'm going to place my water buckets along this wall here because this will be the direction that i would like my spiders to travel so grab your water buckets and place solid block of water all the way along that back wall. So when your spiders do spawn, they'll fall into the water and travel to this direction. Now, as you can see, there is a free block here. What we need to do is dig out an extra couple of blocks just next to that. And then this will be a solid wall inside your cave. Now with these blocks here, you will actually need to go ahead and grab some magma cube. I totally forgot about the most important piece of this build. That This is where your magma cube will be placed, but we need to do some building before that. Okay, so underneath your magma blocks or where the magma blocks will go, break down two blocks all the way along here because this is where our mine carts are going to go. But before we go ahead and place those, we need to pick where we want our items to get transferred to. So I usually just pick the middle, so where the spawner is, and turn around here, and this is where I will have my items go. You'll probably need to dig out some sort of little room or some sort of little design to just sort of stand in as well, like an AFK location. So just go ahead and, and dig out an area or build a little area for you to stand in. Once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and just place a chest here. For this tutorial, I'm just using a one chest sorting. Now I'm gonna break, break the three blocks here. I'm gonna go ahead and place a hopper facing into the chest. Now to place a hopper facing into an item, you need to hold the shift button and then click. So as you can see, it is a directional block. So that is flowing into the chest. And then you need to place a hopper on either side of this hopper, going into this hopper. So again, hold shift click on that hopper, run around this way, hold shift, click on that hopper as well, and that is your sorting system. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start placing our rails. Now I am a little bit OCD, so I usually place two redstone blocks either side here, and that's where my powered rails will go. 
Um, of course, it's going to be a li little bit tricky to get it to sit in the right location like this. So just play around because it will actually need to go in a formation like this. I don't know why it's being difficult right now. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So those will be powered constantly. Now we need to go ahead and just place your hopper cart. Just push it so it starts going. Now what's going to happen is when a spider dies, string and other things will go inside this hopper cart and then actually when it goes over our normal hoppers, it'll actually transfer that into the hoppers and then into the chest. Now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and place our magma blocks over here like so, and then just get out of this location. Maybe just jump back into your uh, little safe zone. Okay, so now that we're in here, get used to hearing annoying noises all the time. <laughs> now that we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back to my hard mode. If you're in a normal world, you will need to break the torches. So jump back into the spawner and break those torches. Let's change it from peaceful to hard and we will start to hear them spawn. Okay, so some of them have died. We'll just have to sit here, and there we go. We've got one string, two string. Now, what I usually do in my in my worlds is I place a, uh, a glass block here so I can just see them and then sort of attract them to me because they will try to climb to you. I also, in my Let's Play worlds, break some blocks on the side and place some trap doors so I have easy access in there to actually shoot them with a bow if need be. Just as an example, this is what it looks like in my Let's Play world. I'll throw that down, throw the trap door down and just shoot them from each corner. But that is pretty much it guys for this tutorial. I hope you did find it uh, easy to follow and uh, a little bit helpful as well for your Let's Play worlds or your private worlds that you have in Minecraft. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave me a like down below as it does show that you are actually enjoying these types of videos. I'm heading to work, so have a go on guys. See you in the next one. Yeah.